All right, so now we are ready for the next stage of dot loop, and that could be uploading files into dot loop because not every agent uses dot loop. So we need to know how to upload PDF documents into dot loop. That is the only file type that dot loop accepts. They don't accept JPEGs or PNG files, only PDF. So if you have those type of files, make sure to first convert them to a PDF so that way you can upload the document into dot loop. Now there's a couple ways to upload documents into dot loop. And the reason this is important is because some agents might also have dot loop and maybe they share documents via dot loop. But if you just work within their loop, you're not staying within your loop that you created for compliance. So we want to make sure everything's in this loop, not somebody else's. So how do we upload documents? Well, you would go to the email and let's pretend that the other agent sent us a PDF file of the offer. Well, we can download this from the email, download, I will head back over to my dot loop and there's a couple ways to do it. Now you can hit add document, browse, and that will pull up your computer files and I can select the right file I want to upload. Or my computer and several computers out there do this is when you've just downloaded something, it will now put the bar down here of your file. So all you gotta do, click it, drag, and drop the file right here. And now dot loop has uploaded the file into my loop. Or if the other agent, let's say for example, this was one form, not all the forms combined into one PDF. Maybe they've sent different attachments. You can individually download those. You can come back over to dot loop. And if you hover over the required line field, you can hit add file and same process. You can hit computer and that will pull up your computer files. And this is how you upload documents into dot loop.